three, two, one. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a vacation necessity video. Like basically things that you need to take on a vacation or travel necessities. This wouldn't be outfit wise, but I can talk a little bit about outfits if you guys would like me to, but I'm just going to pinpoint a few little items that really come in handy when you're on vacation or whenever you travel. So the first thing that you are going to want to think of is sunscreen. Even if you want to tan or get tan or whatever it may be, you still need sunscreen to protect your skin because your skin can burn up and it gets really bad whenever the sun is just continuously on your skin. It can alter your the pigment of your skin and no one wants to get burned or anything like that. So I really like um, sunscreen because even if I'm getting darker or I'm tanning, I know that my skin is protected. Sunscreen's really good, and the one that I use is the Neutrogena Cool Dry Sports Sunscreen, and it is water resistant, so it's really good for water, and it also has an SPF of 70. So um, yeah, that's one thing that you're gonna wanna think of. Bring your sunscreen, because they don't, I haven't actually seen them selling sunscreen anywhere, but either ways, you don't wanna buy it here because it'd be so much more expensive at your location, at your destination, than buying it you know, at a local store in your neighborhood or Walmart or something like that. Bring some Nair. Um, I use Nair, I don't use shaving sticks because I get really bad razor bumps. So I use Nair and if your hair grows back fast, like mine maybe, you're gonna need Nair to you know, remove the hair and get your legs looking sleek and get your armpits looking non-hairy. So definitely consider packing Nair. Possibly a smaller bottle. I brought this one and I have them just put it in my check-in luggage so it wouldn't be just like, you know, thrown away at the um, security checkpoint. So yeah, I really, really think that this was a lifesaver for me. Really, really, really helped. So yeah, definitely think about packing that. Another thing that I think was really, really cool and really, really like beneficial for me especially is my Hard Candy Glow All The Way Tropical Tan. Okay, so I have really, really, really pale legs and I don't expose my legs too much to the sun during the year, so I never get a chance to have them, you know, look the same color as my face or my arms. So what I usually do is I take some of the Hard Candy Glow, and I got this at Walmart for like six dollars. And I, you can also add this to your makeup as well if you want like a more tanner look, or just honestly, if you don't wear makeup and you just want to like go out to the pool, you can wear this, and it just gives you a really tan, natural glow. So um, as you can see, the color is really, really pretty pretty pigmented as you can see and what I do is I just rub that on the spot that I think it would go best on and it has a very 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 pretty melanated color so it does give a bronzing effect and because I'm already in Jamaica and I've been in Jamaica for about a week my skin has tan, so you might not be able to see this well, but basically it gives you a very nice shimmer. This is the hand that I put it on. I'm gonna show you the hand that does not have it. So yeah, I really love my Hard Candy Glow because it helps me even out my skin tone when I want to kind of shimmer in the sun and just not really just put on a whole lot of makeup to on my face, but just still want that glow. So I think that it's really, really good. And you're gonna need a hat to cover you up. And I'm a hat collector, like I collect hats. So <laughs> bringing hats wasn't really hard for me, but if I were you, I would definitely just go for a solid color, you know, nude, or black, because black is really, really cute and it goes with literally everything. But um, just bring a hat that you can use to style your outfits with and to shield yourself from the sun because it does get hot. You don't want to you know, have your face just exposed to the sun all day when you're enjoying activities or just relaxing on the beach or you know, by the pool. So hats are very essential. 
Another item that I saw was extremely, extremely helpful this vacation was my little, it's like a little backpack. Like I can't, I don't really know what, how to like, I don't really know what to call it, but like I guess I'd say a little, little purse backpack. And it has like two little straps on the back. And I got this from Forever 21 and it was $11 y'all. Like it was $11. Like it was on sale half off. So it was super cheap and it's so important because literally like when I tell y'all, I will just put it on my back and walk around the whole hotel. I'll have my camera in there. I'll have my hard candy glove. I'll have my room key and I'll have like the tip money or my money or whatever it is, my wallet, whatever it is. And I just have it in my bag so that I don't have to hold it in my hands. And this bag pretty much carries a lot of stuff. So I was very, very pleased with it because as you can see, it's like, you can like open it up further and then it comes like a bigger bag and then you can close it and close it and then you can like pin it down this looks like that and it's just so adorable to me y'all and it's black so it goes with everything i wear love it okay so definitely think of getting a bag um this is like my everyday bag but a more so stylish bag or going with one of my outfits would be my lemon bag y'all I'm such a loser I love this bag it's like a little crossbody strap lemon bag and when I saw it I was like oh no I have to have it like when life gives you lemons wear them just wear them wear the lemons <laughs> so I had to get this this is more of a fashionable bag and it's really cute like I said it's really small it's of course it's gonna be small it's a lemon so it's very small um, I think with this I would just put a few, a few items in it maybe my camera my room key card and my I don't know I don't I don't know whatever else I can think of but um, yeah I love this bag I got it on eBay for about $11 or so but I will drop the link in the description bar below so you guys can check that out too and see if you're interested in being a loser like me and buying lemon bags and fruit bags <laughs> So uh, yeah, I love this bag and I will be wearing it today. So yeah, check me out on Instagram and how I styled it. After that, I wear glasses. I'm a glasses kind of girl or I wear contacts, but I prefer glasses because they just feel better and they're less stressful. And I actually like the way I look with glasses, so I actually prefer them. So these are my regular glasses. I wear these that I'd wear for being back at home or being in school, but Oh my gosh, I have these more fashionable glasses and they're very prescriptive. And I got these from the online glasses company called Firmu. And when I tell y'all, they're they're amazing. I put my prescription in and they had that done within about a week and it was sent to me and shipped to me perfectly. And what's funny is that these are cheaper than my other glasses and I can see clearer through these than my other ones. And these are more fashionable and I can wear these anywhere. Like on campus, uh, to Jamaica, to a vacation, and still feel, you know, like my outfit is working together for my good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I love these glasses. Case was super cute. It came in a really, really cute case. It's like a world map case, and if you know me, of course, you know I love to travel. So, um, I thought this was really, really interesting. I thought this was really creative. And it also came with a few screws to support the glasses if anything happened. It came with a few more, um, knobs for the glasses as well if anything needed to like you know be screwed back in and their customer service is bomb like if you email them or whatever and everything like that they'll respond within like the next few hours it's just great so um for these today i will have a discount code in my description bar below check them out guys like if you're on the hunt for new pair of glasses and you don't know where to get them from, check out For Moon. I mean, they're super cheap. These are like, what, 30 something dollars? They're super cheap and it's just, it's just something you wanna try out. So on the website, you can definitely actually upload a picture of your face onto the, uh, the website and you can try on glasses with your face. That's how I got these ones, y'all. I'm like, this is out of my comfort zone, but I do love these. Like, I love that they're just different, and I think different's really cute and really good. My next must-haves are sunglasses. I think sunglasses are a necessity because, you know, like I said before, if we're going on vacation, it's pretty much going to be sun, mostly maybe everywhere. So, packing some cute, trendy sunglasses just to have with you 
would be a really good idea. Two favorite glasses at the moment are these that I got from Zero UV. And I just think these are so cute. I just think they're just adorable. The last thing on my essential list would be to bring motion sickness relief. Don't don't don't. So yes, I do have motion sickness and specifically I have airplane motion sickness and a lot of people don't necessarily know when they're gonna have it or when it might trigger or whatever the case may be but I think that it'd be really really beneficial to pack it and not have it than to not pack it and then have it and then have it ruin your whole vacation so um, what I usually get is Dramamin and it's the original formula and it's motion sickness relief and it comes with 12 tablets so if you don't honestly you will you will only need about two going back and forth like one to get on the plane and then one to get on the plane when you're going back home so this is 12 in it so it'll last you for a long time you will have to continuously buy some but I would advise that you do get it just in case you get on a boat and you have boat motion sickness versus getting on a plane because I don't have it on, on a boat, I have it on a plane. I don't have it in the car, I have it in the plane only. So um, this comes in handy and it helps me have a smooth, a smooth ride and not feeling sick and yeah, no one wants to feel sick for what, three hours, four, depending on where you're going, like bruh, no one wants to live like that. So yeah, those are a few of my essentials. Things like flip flops, body sprays, lip glosses, lipsticks, your makeup of course, and other stuff are all essentials as well. But these are just a few that I really want to touch on. And if you wanted me to go, I guess, further into elaborations, maybe outfit wise, I can do that too. Yeah, those are just a few that I thought were handy and came in handy. And that pretty much concludes my video. I think I've gotten everything in. That's pretty much all that I really just thought of that really came in handy during my trip to Jamaica. I thought I'd do this video to kind of help people out that are trying to travel and wondering what they really, really, really need. Of course, you know, things like your toothbrush are essential, but um, these are just, you know, things that you might not really think you need, but you really do need. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace, love, and blessings.